Yo, what is happening, everybody? I believe I am live now. Got the chat pulled up over there. Just got back from vacation. Got to mute my thing because now we're crossing over. We'll see if we can get anybody in here. Dude, the keys were phenomenal. My fiance's mom turned 50. Big milestone. We had a pretty nice place on the water. Had water on both sides. Great time. A little bit rough weather, but hey, we made the best of it. We played games. We went out, went snorkeling, had a good time. JV just joined me. All right, we got somebody in here to talk to, so I don't feel like a nut. Oh, man, I almost forgot to turn my other light on, too. Boom, all righty. Dude, JV, what's happening, man? I'm loving the show, man. Love how you did the new edits, bro. That is so awesome, putting like live or putting videos from the actual videos in the thing. Super cool, bro. Nice move, classy move. Fake the snake just joined us. What's happening, brother? Hope you're doing all right today. Another good day. Getting the fam in here, man. Picked up a Thor and Galactus cover down in uh, Miami at Past, Present, Future Comics. I think this was the Davy location or whatever. They got a bunch of stores, apparently. Oh, yeah. I got some uh, Tokyo, the lo fi hip hop. Little Japanese beat going, man. I'm loving it. Another book I picked up while I was down there. Boom. Trying to finish my run. Monstrous issue nine. Got my man Kippa. And then Master Ren, the little poet, which is the cat. The cats like keep the histories in this series. Dude, this book is so awesome, bro. That whole series is fantastic. Can't wait for the new issue coming out. But yeah, man. Mystery mail call time. What's up? Hopefully I got one of them Shazam number ones, dude. How freaking cool would that be? I haven't got to see the movie yet, dude. I'm super stoked. I want to see it. If any of y'all have seen it, just let me know in the chat if it's worth watching. Apparently the Golden Age Guru said it was a little bit scary for kids maybe. I don't have any kids yet, so that's one thing I don't have to worry about. And everybody said that actor killed that part. So, dude, I'm so I'm stoked to see it, man. But what I'm super excited about in this mail call is that print this month, dude. I'll give a shout out to the artist whenever I get it open because I don't remember his name. But man, that Galactus is something serious. All right. What? Black bag special, man. That black bag service. I can feel the print down there. Oh, looks like I got some comic karma in this one too. 3 2019. I'll have to look up the video to find out. All right. The artist's name is Armando Ramirez Art. I'm assuming it's on Instagram. Dude, this thing is fantastic. Ooh. That is super cool. I don't know if you can see the surfer right there, man. That is awesome. Down there coming out of the blast. What? Dude. Armando Ramirez Art, thank you so much for this epic print. It's going to go up on the wall with the many others that I got behind me. Hey, that was one of my pickups while I was down there to add to my Rocket Raccoon covers. Definitely love the ir irony of like Rocket Raccoon straight up charging Craven with two, nothing but two knives, dude. You got the... The prey going straight at the predator. No fear. Got his red eyes, dude. Rocket Raccoon, man. What's up? First up, Comic Karma 32019. A little bit of X Factor. I've got this book in my collection as well. But let's see. This one actually looks a little bit nicer than mine because I actually read mine when I was a kid. It was one of the ones I got up and got in my early days. So I did not take very good care of them. Sorry to say. A little Azrael. Boom. That is issue number three. Look at him. Got Batman's cape or flag or whatever you want to call it. Melton with the blood splatter in the back. Casada art from 1991. Oh, look at that. Got one of them little bumblebee flyers from Japan. <laughs> Thank you, Russ. The comic book sensei over there with the Geek Street crew. Titans number one. Throwing the hands in. Everybody get in a huddle. All right. 
you guys, we're getting beat down. We're getting knocked around. People don't take us serious because they think we're the Teen Titans and all that other crap. So we're going to show them something. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what he's saying right there. Just in case I've never read it. Kid Flash lost. Flashpoint. This is number three. Again, I don't read too much DC, but hey, I will now. Oh, got that amazing Spider-Man number one. There it is. I watched him put these books in the mail calls on his Instagram account. Boom. Another thank you to whoever sent that comic book karma. Got some Fantastic Four is my trade. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Absolutely. This one is Island of Death. All right. Dude, so coming up, man. Next week, Story Comic Core, y'all. We got a whole new Comic Core started up. Me, Comic Head 84, Chad 90 EMF, White Whale, a whole bunch of us, dude. We're all going to be breaking it down. Yes, sir. Why the last man? Brian K. Vaughn. I am so glad that we went with this choice because I actually had not read uh, Long Halloween for like forever. And I don't even think I finished it. So it's a good thing. <laughs> we got some familiar territory right there. And I love Brian K. Vaughn. Absolutely excited for that one. And I want to give a big thank you to my buddy at Famous Faces and Funnies for last year giving me the free first issue of that. And that's what started me reading it. So, boom, another introduction to Brian K. Vaughn from another great comic book store. Loving it, man. Tonight on Thanatos' channel, they're going to be breaking down No Fear, I believe it is. I think John's Comics with Kids called Dibs on this one. Mm. Don't you love the smell of comic books, y'all? Man. Let's see what we got in the chat. Oh, we got some new people joining us from earlier. Let's see. We got Metarog in the house. What's happening, brother? Hope you had a good day, good weekend, good week, everything in between. I saw my man comic hit 84, dude. How stoked are you for Why the Last Man, brother? Come on, dude. That's going to be a lot of fun, dude. I cannot wait. But yeah, dude, I just wanted to get on here, unbox a few things. I'll go over what I read since I got a couple people in here. While I was on the trip, so first off, Alec, thank you for sending me the first three issues of Paper Girls. So I had to get the first trade to finish it out with the last two. Freaking loved it. So on the way, or while I was down in Miami, I actually picked up this one, finished it. Dude, Paper Girls is still on fire. Another Brian K. Vaughn book. Dude, I love his writing. If you don't like it, reread it. Give him another chance. I also, since I've been reading G off John's Green Lantern, these were from my buddy Ivan, who lets me buy comics for a dollar in his garage. He's got a whole bunch of long boxes he lets me dig through. I started this one. I made it through the first one and started the second one, but then we made it home. I'm, and it's not, I don't believe this one was written by John's completely. I think somebody else, Gibbons maybe, or somebody else helped him write it possibly, or I don't know, but it's still a great read so far. I'm actually really enjoying it, but it's not quintessential to the whole run that they're doing another one i read my man thor always got to show him some love dude god complex high evolutionary gets involved with tony stark and is like planning on making he's like the old gods are obsolete and we don't need them anymore so he's planning on like a synergy of technology and biology or human you know he wants to make the perfect one and of course tony stark he's kind of like a mashup of technology and humanity so he was going to transform him into a god. Tony Stark played along with it. Tell my man Thor could come in and save the day. Epic read. That came in another mail call that I got from Comic Tom. I love getting trades in the mail call. Some people don't like them. Dude, I enjoy trades so much because it makes it so easier, so much easier to get a collection of books. Got to give a shout out. Comics with Bueller's in the house. We got Jeff Comic 813. James Gallagos in the building. Dude, a bunch of people are showing up. Thank y'all for showing up while I just... Finished unboxing my Comic Tom mail call. I'll go back over it with you again real quick since we got some new people. Fantastic Four was the trade in it. Kid Flash Lost, issue number three. And all these things are pristine, by the way. Titans number one, you missed a little impersonation of me going over their little motivational speech, which probably, I, I don't know, they'd lose if I was the one giving them their motivational speeches, probably, or they just laugh at me, kick me out of the group. And then X Factor, which was some comic karma. So I got to go back and look up what episode. 
And then I was one of the lucky people to get that amazing Spider-Man number one in their box this month that they just threw in there on Instagram. So if you're just joining, now you're caught up going over some of the books that I read while I was on my vacation. I got to finish out Sinestro Core War. Oh my goodness. I freaking love it. I'm so glad that Matt and Boy7 and John and them are going over it tonight. No fear is what they're going over, but just the G off John's run, dude. Me jumping into that and Fire Guy Ryan, dude, he was right telling me Green Lantern is some good stuff because that G off John's run is fantastic. And then a uh, shout out to my man Matt at 9.9 .9 Comics for knowing me so well and just going ahead and ordering trades whenever I start reading a trade and I tell him that I like it. He goes ahead and gets all of them if he doesn't have them and keeps them behind the counter for whenever I do come in because I do finish my trades and I do come get more. I almost finished this one on the trip too, which I did a lot of reading, man. We're kicked back in the sun, hanging out under some umbrellas, having some drinks, dude. It was nice. Good relaxing time. But yeah, Deadly Class. This was the second trade. I like the book a lot more than I like the show. I think the show, man, it plays into the high school drama relational stuff a lot more than it does in the book, which it does have it in the book. Don't get me wrong. They are bringing stuff straight from the paper source. But yep. Anyways, dude. Well, I, what's everybody else been doing this week, man? I didn't get to get any books this week yet. Not one, they're not, not, they're not a one book because there are no comic book shops in the Keys. It was crazy. Like comic book shops near me and the closest one was like 70 something miles away. And I was on vacation, so I wasn't going to go through all that. And I brought tons of comics. So, but yeah, if anybody read anything yesterday that I cannot live without, Please leave it in the chat, leave it in the comments somewhere, dude, because it was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, uh, Jeff Comic 813. Yep, I will be with him on a show on Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern, I believe it is. It's going to be the Florida Boys talking about some comic books. I'm not sure what we're going to be talking about yet because I didn't get any new books. That's why I was asking what I should pick up. So anybody let me know if there's anything, trade or hardcover. Which one, Discovery? What are you talking about? Trader hardcover. Let me go back up. Fake this in eight. Can't wait. Love why the last man. It got me back into collecting. Brian K. Vaughn for life. Thank you, sir. Brian K. Vaughn for Prez. What's up? <laughs> hey, man. Famous people can become president nowadays. You didn't know? <laughs> oh, Mr. Garrell just joined us too, dude. We got a whole building of people. Dang, man. I wish I had more stuff to talk about. Everybody's showing up. Um, this, uh, Daniel Arzola, I remembered who it was that this grail motivator, it's a postcard I picked up a little while ago is going out to, I mentioned it in my videos. If any of y'all have a grail that you want some motivation to attain it, hit me up, send me a message. I will shoot you one of these in the mail and the, the place I got them does have more. So if anybody has like a special old Marvel, they're all Marvel though, all Marvel, an old Marvel book on your grail list that you want. I got my two on the wall, Journey into Mystery 83, Silver Surfer number four. So let me know, dude. I will shoot you these in the mail. Daniel, I remembered your name, so now I can send it to you. <laughs> he already shot me his address. I am think I'm just going to put them in envelopes though, because I don't want to just stick stamps to it. Unless y'all think it would be cool and old school to have a stamp and a handwritten thing on the back, but I didn't want to ruin it in case anybody wanted to like, you know, keep it. Like we do our comic books. We don't mess up our comics and our collectibles. You know, we got to keep them things pristine. Got to keep them fresh. Got to have that 9.8, .9, that CGC, which I'm going to start slabbing here soon, y'all. I'm trying to show off enough books to where one of these big wigs like JD or somebody will invite me on their show to slab or not to slab. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to get on. Because man, oh man. I have bought in to the craze, y'all. Here we go. I think I got them all. Yo. All die number ones. All different prints. <laughs> Dude, this is where it's at, y'all. I want to slab these things. Some of them, like I had 150 copies of cover A to get to pick through. Like that's how many of my shop ordered. So like I picked through them to the like most minuscule, like the corners of these things don't even have a little phrase on them. So like I'm trying to get a 9.9 .9 of it and I want to get on one of them slab or not to slab shows. So y'all better let me on there or else I'm going to go cry. I'm going to go tell and I'm going to cry. 
My fian my fiance ain't nobody to mess with. I'll stick her on y'all, man. Listen up. But yeah, dude. Comic Tom, he made it. What's up, brother? I just opened your box, bro. Thank you so much, dude. I even got the little Japanese insert from Bumblebee. Thank you, Russ. But yeah, dude, I got one of the ones you threw that book in there on uh, Instagram. I caught that. Letting new people know what we did. We opened a mail call, dude. A mail call. It's my mail call. That wasn't in the mail call. That was from Alec. That was some comic karma, bro. Yeah, dude, the stuff is real. These are the books I picked up on my trip. Yes, sir. I got to meet Sana Takeda like you did, dude, and get her to sign this one so I can put it up there with this one. Woo so beautiful. Dude, I had a, such a great trip, man. There were so many like little fishes and stuff. The conditions weren't, weren't the best, but yo, new story comic core coming next week, man. It'll be on Monday. We are going to be breaking down why the last man, Comet Head 84, can tell everybody about it. He's right there in the chat, dude. But yeah, man. And shout out I Ivan. Ivan who? Oh, you watched it? Okay. Yeah, that was my buddy that I get comics from. <laughs> in his garage. <laughs> For a dollar, dude. He's gotten me so many good dollar books. I'm going to give you a little preview of what I'm going to go up against old Chad 90 MF with, dude. He dollar dude these things quiver come on is there not a better kevin smith i believe it was yeah dude green arrow what dude i got them fire books for a dollar dude always looking for bargains you don't have to spend a ton of money to have some great books honestly this book right here was one of the ones i found in a dollar bin not recently but in the past two years i have and that's that bumblebee appearance what's up dude there is bargains out there to be found but yep Anyways, thank y'all for joining me, dude. I am so glad to be home. If anybody's doing anything tonight, not while other people are doing anything, because I'm going to be watching a bunch of shows tonight. Dude, hit me up. We'll get on. We'll get on live. We'll do whatever y'all want to do, bro. Comic Smurf, man. Love y'all.